Next up on our Craft Bad Monster series, we have one of my all-time favorites, the Owlbear. The Owlbear is a great monster. It's unique to D&D. It's iconic. It does just what it's supposed to do at CR3. It has a whole bunch of hit points and deals out a whole bunch of damage. Really easy to run, but still gives a, a really great twist into a lot of encounters. It could be the, the war beast of hobgoblins. It could be the result of an experiment by a crazy wizard. They could be uh, uh, the pets of orcs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this mini. Check it out. Look at this guy. Super cool, right? Let me uh, tilt back so you can see that face. Because it's got this sort of forward-looking charge pose. All right, super cool, super easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. To make the owlbear, you're gonna need a few different colors of polymer clay, black, yellow, brown, tan, orange, a two by two inch foam core base, and a sort of an oblong ball of tin foil. First, we're gonna take our brick of brown clay, break it in half, and then take one of those halves and roll it and smush it out into a big disc. Then we're gonna use that disc to cover up our oblong football shape tinfoil ball. Go ahead and smooth it out a little bit and if one end ends up having a bit more clay, sculpt that, that extra clay into a tiny little tail. Now you know it ends the bottom. Now get a little bit of the tan clay and shape it into an oval and stick it on opposite of the tail. This is going to be the owlbear's belly. I smoothed that belly piece in a little bit and shaped it so it's fatter on top and then narrower and tucks and stops right before the tail. I'm going to take the second half of our starting brick and split it into thirds. One of those thirds I'm going to sculpt into sort of a fat heart shape and then stick that on top for the head of the owlbear. Now get a small ball of that tan clay, roll it up, and smush it right into the face. Making sure to grab some of that tan clay we're gonna pinch up to create the crested ears of the owl. And then using our thumbs, we're gonna press down to make indents for where the eyes will be. Go a little deep and it'll give this effect of big owl eyes. The second third of our starting brick, we're gonna split and then roll out into cylinders to make the legs. I put one going forward and one going back to make it look like the owl bear's lunging forward. The last third of our brown clay, we're going to split in half and then split again and roll those out to make arms. I'm gonna stick them on to make it look like the owlbear is lunging forward to claw at somebody. For the beak, I'm gonna get a tiny little bit of orange clay, pinch it just a little bit, and then stick it on. Then very gently, I'm gonna pull down just a little bit to make it sort of a curved beak. Then I'm gonna get an even tinier dot of black clay and stick it in just underneath that hooked curve so it looks like its mouth is open, that blackness is the open mouth. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? To make the eyes, I'm going to get dots of brown, and then on top of that I'm going to put dots of yellow, and then on top of that I'm going to put dots of black, and then smush it into those little sockets we created earlier. Check it out. It's a little cartoony right now, but we'll get to that. We'll roll out a thin piece of brown, and then stick it on the face in sort of a U-shape over the eyes. Next, we're gonna get some balls of tan clay and then add those to the limbs of our owlbear where the hands and feet would be, or claws and paws, or talons, whatever. <laughs> Take your yellow clay, roll out 12 tiny balls, and then stick them to the end of each of the owlbear's extremities. Now pull these out just a little bit and you'll have its talons and claws. Check it out, now it's really starting to come together. Now we're gonna add some decorations, some final touches. If you take a small ball of brown clay and slowly pull it apart, you get these teardrop shaped pieces. Make a whole bunch of these and then start lining the back of the owlbear's neck with them. Start at the bottom and work your way towards the top. Then I got some of the tan clay and did the same thing and added just a few pieces to the crown of the owlbear's head. Check it out, doesn't that look cool? Like big, thick, almost hairy feathers. I'm gonna take a flat edge tool and do rows of lazy W's along the owlbear's belly. This is gonna make it look like the front has ruffled feathers. Then I'm gonna do some diagonal lines on the sides 
where the, the ribs would be for a bit more texture. I'm gonna texture the rest of the body by using a rounded tool and just sort of pressing into it so it doesn't look like just flat clay. Check it out. Pretty cool looking, huh? Finally, I'm gonna take a bit of black clay and roll it out and then put it on the owlbear to give it more crazy eyebrows. Maybe make this owlbear look a bit more intimidating and menacing. After that, I'm gonna make sure it balances, bake it, and then hot glue it right onto that two by two inch base. And we're finished. Super cool, super easy to do. Imagine you're walking through the forest then all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> wait a second, do owlbears hoot or do owlbears growl? Anyway, a terrifying noise. Roll for initiative. Yeah, so that's the video, folks. Like I said, really easy to do and a great looking mini. Uh, this guy turned out a little bit bigger than I would have expected. So I went ahead and made a dire owlbear stat block. At CR6, it packs a little bit more of a punch. It's got a cool feature that I think really encompasses what an owlbear could be, the ferocity of it. Here's the smaller version that I made just for a comparison. Yeah, and if you like this video, you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe so I know what kind of content to make more of. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments below.